What's up, Panheads? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the Skillets. It's been an amazing year for Skillet. We uh, started it off with doing our first major overseas trip. Well, actually, I guess first trip we've done in like 10 years. So uh, Australia and Japan, New Zealand, and we ended the year with all of our European and uh, Russian fans, and it was absolutely awesome. You people rock, yeah. Anyway, it's been a great year for us, been special. We want to say all our fans, thank you so much for your support. As always, Panheads are the very best fans in the whole world. What's up? And we'll see you uh, 2012, just, you know, rocking the free world and such. <laughs> Love you. Tervetuloa Suomeen, katso Skillet Podcast. Welcome to Finland, you're watching Skillet Podcast. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> No, I said you first. We are, uh, I don't know, we're going overseas. I haven't really thought about it much. We're going to, uh, we're going to Finland first. Finland, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what your accent that is. That's really, uh, that sounded Irish, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know. I have my very last Dr. Pepper for the next three weeks. So. <laughs> I'm going to go throw it away because other countries have not mastered the fountain drink yet. We've taken two flights and now we're about to drive for another two or three hours just to get to the first place we're trying to get to. Where And where are we, do you know? Finland? <laughs> yes. Hello. Tell me where we are and don't let me get hit by cars. We are in Finland. Oh. <laughs> Switzerland. <laughs> Scandinavia. I, I, I missed the entrance. It's over here. I'm leading the way. I'm in charge. I saw some liters of Dr. Pepper. It looked like an imported product. It's going to cost you like $100. I didn't buy it. But <laughs> I considered it. Look how gray it is. It looks like uh, England. Yeah, or it also kind of looks like the Wisconsin? Matrix, uh, <laughs> what the crazy. world actually looked like after they burned the sun. My only issue with Finland so far is that I haven't heard any skillet on the radio, and it makes. We haven't listened to the radio. Uh, if we walk in the malls. And oh, I see. The, you know the re restaurants. They have a lot. Of, you've heard a lot of American music on there, but not skillet. It makes me think maybe there's something wrong with this place. What's we'll happening right, right Hello. there? Uh, it's not Dr. Pepper, but it's Coke. And it's fizzy. It's, it's alright. What's right. happening right there? Hot chocolate. <laughs> Finland people are so nice. Good chocolate. And uh, we have a sound check. Awesome. I'm done acting like I won't be. Sitting here still wishing you wanted me. Don't say that I never told you. We have some faces to rock tonight, okay? Yeah! Boy! Meet a men up. Rock the fins, man. How rock the fins. How bad am I saying? Well, they might be interested. Meet ten men at. Yeah, that's good. Meet ten men at. Yeah. Record this. Moi! Meet ten men at. Men at. That's good. Yes, it is. Meet ten. Meet ten. Say skillet rocks in Finnish. Skillet rock. That's right. You want to say hi, everybody? Hi, everybody.
bunch of teenagers and older people as well have been waiting for you guys to come to Finland for many years. Ja, ja se ei yllättänyt, että, että te veditte niin kuin, niin, niin kuin si, sillä hyvin rockimeiningillä. Niin kuin, se, 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 se musiikki toi, toi niin hyvin, niin se ei yllättänyt, kun levyjään paljon kuunneltu, niin se ei yllättänyt. And I, we were not surprised that you uh, played so well, because we've heard your CDs and we know you're good. Okay. <laughs> But the thing that we were... Um, Uh, very pleased with, and uh, that was we were um, kind of almost amazed. Was that your message was really good, oh, okay. and we were really touched by that. And I think a lot of people were as well. And as youth leaders, we're really happy that you had a strong message to bring. Where are we, Seth? What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> um, Finland Airport. Have we slept at all today? No, we're right in it? between heaven and hell. It's called purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what's gonna happen in the next hour. Hi, Chu. Hi. <laughs> how's Tay doing tonight? I, I just got a little lap yeah. on the way to the airport. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. How awesome. We'll see. Oh, cool. This is the glamorous life like. of rock stars right here. Yeah. Living the dream. Chu, your hair is just beautiful. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's like gold. It is. Freshly, you could sell that for clean. so <laughs> much money. Yeah. <laughs> But don't, because you look like a samurai. <laughs> so Seth, this uh, this time last year, what were you doing? I was looking for my dad's business, praying daily for God's direction in my life, where I felt like I was supposed to be, using my uh, musical gifts for him, and was contemplating other things, you know, going back to school, this and that. A lot of things lined up in my life. I just felt like. God was at work, and you know you can you just get that feeling where you know God's at work and has His hand on something, and He's moving you in a direction. You don't know where or how, but you can just feel it. And I think about this time last year is where I was at. All right. So when you heard that Skillet was looking for a guitar player, what'd you do? I called my friend. His name is Tim. Um, plays guitar for Toby Mac. I said, Hey, I, I, I heard about this. Could you maybe? see what you can find out. So he called Toby, actually, and um, found out, and the next, I hadn't even heard back from Tim yet, this is weird, I hadn't even heard back from Tim, and the next day, I had an email from Scotty, from Scotty Rock, I was like, whoa, like, all this criteria of what, what they wanted, the pictures, play these songs, um, the brief biography, testimony, I did all that within a matter of two days, Thanks. so I, I got to work on it, man. <laughs> get it. <laughs> and I get a call, and it was uh, it was a number I didn't recognize. I think it was uh, a weird area code I didn't recognize. And I didn't answer it. Just figured it was a telemarketer or something. And they're like, I'll leave a message if it's important. So I just felt I felt led. I, I never. This is weird. I just felt led to call this number back for some reason. I was like. I think I need to call this number back. <laughs> so I called it back, and they didn't answer. But uh, on, the, on the voicemail I hear, this is Scotty Rock, leave a message. And I'm like, oh crap. So I'm like, what is this about? <laughs> He calls me back, and, uh, and the doggy was on a conference call with him. I remember when the doggy jumped in and started talking, that's when my heart really started you know, racing. I was like, what is, what, what's, what's happening? Scotty started and then Do Doggy came in and he said like, when you could, when could you fly out? And Doggy's like, I needed you to fly out uh, yesterday. <laughs> Two days later, I was on my way to Houston. So. Would you say this has been a good year for you? Yeah. <laughs> It's been um, a year of Prayers answer my whole life to this point of prayers answered and and God pointing me in this direction and steering my life and, and making things happen and molding me and shaping me and who I am to to 2011. So absolutely. You guys want to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Hey, that's not the only week. He likes to be different. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Is it on? Go. Thank you for a great year. 
have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Exclamation. We love you. Bye.